Phase ship two is two minutes from release. You are clear to arm at pylon release. I'll call fire. In the final minutes before launch, the pilots review the critical tasks they're about to perform. Call pitch up, pitch down, trim feather unlock 1.4. Things happen very, very, very quickly. They do not have the time physically to go and pull out the checklist and read the checklist because these things are happening second after second after second. Glide trim's good. Green for release. The flight director clears Spaceship Two for launch. Okay, here we go. All right, stick. Stick us forward. Captain Seabold moves the control yoke forward to ensure they'll fly down and away from White Knight Two after release. Armed. Yellow light. Any time you take an object and you push it at the speeds we're talking about through space and then bring it back, there's going to be risk. It's almost impossible to make it completely safe. And five, four, three, two, one. Release, release, release. Clean release. Spaceship 2 detaches from White Knight 2 exactly as planned. Now comes the true test. Can this revolutionary craft take the crew to the edge of space and safely back to Earth? As Spaceship 2 drops from its carry plane, Fire. Mike Alsbury arms the experimental rocket motor. Um. Sixty thousand pounds of thrust propels them towards the speed of sound. Good light. Spaceship two, its top speed is close to three Mach, so uh, three times the speed of sound, over two thousand miles per hour. Very, very fast. It's a very, very rough ride. So you think about the worst turbulence you've been in an aircraft liner, and then magnify that by 10. The main thing they were testing was the longer burn time on the rocket engines. It was supposed to be a 38 second burn of the engine. But just 14 seconds after ignition, one of the flight engineers notices some highly troubling data coming from the spacecraft. Knock it off. Abort. The flight director issues a desperate order for the crew to abort. But it's too late. Emergency procedure is now in effect. Red card two. My husband was watching through binoculars. He said, that doesn't look good. And then uh, we saw two pieces falling from the sky. I have some pretty close friends who are out there. I wondered about them, who was flying, what happened. And that, that's the big question that every pilot has when you hear about a mishap. How did this happen? Emergency procedure is now in effect. Red card two. Initiating search protocol right night two. Remarkably, Captain Pete Seabold has managed to parachute to safety. He's injured, but alive. There's no emergency escape system. Uh, there's no egress capsule. There's nothing like that. Basically, there's not much they can do apart from hope that parachutes open. That's the risk. Co-pilot Michael Bree is not so lucky. Trapped in the cockpit during the breakup, he dies in the crash. Everybody wants to see the goal of commercial space. They want to see the goal of 
uh, this new aircraft, this new vehicle being successful. And it, it hits hard when you end up having an accident where you lose a close crew member and someone that you've probably worked with day in and day out throughout the whole program. 